Okay, hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use, um, not use, but um, configure the sound and video settings for RetroPie using an Amiga emulator. Let's start. I'm going to run It Came From The Desert. Okay, I started this game. So I'm going to press F1 and change the audio and video settings. So press F1, go to Options. You could change... Uh, settings that you want options first i want to change the audio settings you have to first um, enable show audio options you turn it on you go back and then you go back in and you can see the audio options let me show you so if I turn this off, there's no audio options. Well, it shouldn't be there. I guess you got to restart it. So let's go to floppy sound emulation. I'm going to turn it up to 100%. Back. That's quite loud and annoying, isn't it? So let's <laughs> go back to F1 and turn it off. Play the game again. Okay, no floppy disk sound, which is good. Next, I want to go to video settings. Again, show video option should be on. If it's if it's not on, then turn it on. We're gonna change. You could change the resolutions here. Let's change it to super 1440p. Seven twenty p. Not much of a difference there, except the higher resolutions look more grainy and the lower resolutions look more blended in. I just left it on that default pixel aspect. I think they're both 4x3 or 3x4 or something. Just automatic here. Doesn't make a big difference. You could go to crop mode. I mean crop. You could change it to small. And when, it when you change it to small, you can see that the picture got smaller. Let's try minimal. maximum as you can see the picture or the viewable screen got bigger I like to leave it enlarged like that that looks a lot nicer
So that's how you could change the video settings here. Go back to F1. No, let's see. Let's go to audio settings. Got interpolation type anti. Let's try crux. Probably none. Let's see what happens. Don't see much of a difference here. So anti, I'm just going to leave it on default. Filter. Right, off. Put it on emulated, it didn't make a big difference or anything. Nothing. This is audio uh, ejected sound. When you uh, eject a disc, you, you should hear a click sound, like a, your disc being ejected from the disc drive. I think that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to cover today. and. Uh, if you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.